I know, I know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you, I feel about you using my real name. Okay, uh, Dr. Rose. I don't know. How does that sound? I, I always think that's funny. Like, Jesus. I don't. So your, 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 your laser pointer itself has circuitry board, right? It has, it, it essentially has a, has a, what, what is essentially a grounding source on it, right? And then you have a, a positive node to it, which, which is where you connect your batteries to. Ba, 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 ba. Your small micro switch batteries, usually about three or two or three of them, and there's a grounding loop on. Does yours have a spring, or is or is yours more of a like a like like a flat plate kind of thing? It's a spring. It's a spring section. Okay, so it's a little little, little curly cue with a screw cap, right? It's a it, the spring is inside. Mm-hmm. With this like connected to the circuit board. And then um, the batteries are then screwed in from the bottom to the, and then that's how and that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes. Okay. So basically, the w w what you're looking at, if you come take a look at this, is ha is right here. You have a grounding source at the at the very bottom, and then you have power going up here, right? And uh, usually, usually these are like a 1.5. Um, 1.5 amps uh, or 1.5 volts uh, coming through, and that stays up to around three or four, four volts going in, going into, going into the system. Well, the the system is designed as a, a, a as a continuous loop. Right. So you're you're going up into it to to, to the working principle, which is like where the ground loop is, where the where the load is at, and that's how and that's how it powers. Well, what confuses me is that it's backwards. The laser is coming out of here. Okay. The spring is on, is connected to this part, and the bottom just screws it in, just holds it all in. How about that? Is it is it, is that better than the, and 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 the pointer is coming out this way? The pointer is coming out this way. The pointer is coming out to, uh, past the ground. It's like this is this is the cap that screws on the bottom, and this is the laser part of it. Okay. And, that, and then the board comes off, and there's two buttons. And back here, there's nothing, right? There's nothing. Okay, flip those batteries. Just, just, uh, just uh, like the, where you connect the lanyard or whatever bullshit, the keychain okay. part of it. So it's uh, it's it, it, it's a, it's either a it's a either a reverse DC circuit or your or your batteries are are in backwards. <laughs> That's what, well, it, it's it, the batteries are toast. You know, they're corroded and all busted up. So. <coughs> the batteries are just fucked either way. Off, <coughs> off but it's it confused me because you know, like I said, as far as I could tell, there was nothing that was really completing that circuit. It was just the spring touching the top of the batteries, and the part that's screwed on the back is just plastic. You know, I thought if if the case, if it's all metal and the the case itself is you know supplying the the circuit or the, the loop. You know, it's, uh, I, but it's not. It's it's plastic. So I'm like, so it can't be doing it unless you know, chrome painted plastic. Unless that which, metal has that paint has enough. Which, which can I mean, uh, um, uh, chrome painted or 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 brass painted plastic will will conduct circuitry, and I mean they're doing that nowadays, and it's actually kind of cool. But I mean, the thing is cheap as fuck. You know, like it's not like it's a fancy laser pointer or anything it's just your standard keychain affair yeah, but, but i mean what's one thing a person always has on them is it is a, a keychain i guess keychain key lighter and a cock for your cocker balls um you're male sure yeah true yeah female yeah, yeah. i mean if you're you a never female, know <laughs> you're, you're carrying around cock and balls you're married? You're married. <laughs> you beat me to the joke. Yeah, you beat me to the punchline. I should have known. You're already married. I you know. know. It you're sucks. Know. Um, I, I love you, honey. It sucks sometimes. Um, <laughs> that, so, those are just the jokes you make. Yeah, yeah, jokes. <laughs> that, I, that I make at my married friend's expense. Um, okay, so what, what do we do...
do a little bit of math for me. If we have, ah, oh, shit, I was forget. Uh, one point five plus one point five, and it is what? Three. Three. Perfect. Right. One and a half plus one and a half is three, right? One and a half plus one and a half is three. Correct. So what happens when you take what is standard of uh, three? Three. Uh, a volt system and you introduce six volts to it. I don't know. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Ta da! It's a uh, six volt, 4.5 amp hour battery. The testing phase for the wonderful place that is known as my fucking garage. Patent pending. What are you? You're gonna. You're just gonna blow up that bug zapper, huh? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know yet. Mean it. Hey, I'm game, man. I that's why I gave that thing to you because I knew you were gonna do shit like this. And that's that's why I'm gonna give you that laser pointer because I want to see what happens when you plug it into that battery and we start shooting planes down. <laughs> Put on the end of a Glock and just avoid avoid use of bullets pretty much at that point in time. Just can't can't you kind of do that with lasers? Can't you just put a huge battery on the thing and it'll just be more powerful? You can intensify me, but, but but I mean you, you kind of have to add a, a a bit of a heat sink it uh, heat sink to it. Oh right, yeah, that's that's why the powerful lasers are as big as tables and shit. Like yeah, yeah I've got yeah, and then you get in, in nitrogen and shit like that too. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, sorry, I got a little thirsty there. Um. Okay, so. Uh, so I got a little desk for that tape, that um, that TV too. My my little garage workspace just looks more and more professional every day. Isn't it kind of cool? I mean, you, you you slowly start building up a little bit. Like, <coughs> hey, you know, this is actually looking pretty decent. Well, it's just, and and I'm so insane. I always have the tube TV on on like broadcast, just you know. Just CBS or whatever, just because. Do you have a converter for that? Yeah, I have. Okay. A, uh, my uncle gave me a digital converter box for it too. All right, all so right. So I can watch TV on it, and that's pretty much all I watch TV on anymore. I, I, you know, I watch TV on the other, the the new. I think it's LCD. I don't think it's LED. I think it's you LCR. Know, LCR. I think. I, th I think it could be that. Because it's real. It's real bright. In the in the. Uh, in the second box down, the one that's open, grab the yellow uh, um, wire spool down there, please. Uh, th this box? Yeah. No. The one that was open. One up. There we go. Uh, grab either the red or the yellow. Yeah, it's okay. Um, when, you're, when you're wiring circuitry, always remember to match your colors to the appropriate size and dimensions. But yeah, this TV, it looks, it looks real bright and nice, but I mostly just use it as like the secondary computer monitor. And I like it better. I mean, I still like the big ass TV. Everyone always does. But I like this TV a little better because it's like I can move it around. And something, it it matches the... the Ambiance of the room. <laughs> it, it matches the resolution to the laptop screen closer. So mm -hmm. when I mirror, like when I... When I extend the screen instead of just like mirror it or you know make it the main computer screen, it looks a lot better. Because yeah, you're, um, you're not changing a resolutional factor there. You're yeah. Kinda... So it's I, I kind of like you know being able to play with it in that regard because it's like you know I've got my laptop on a little kind of bench next to my couch so I can move it around and have it close to me and I can like look at that screen real nice. And then I've got my tube TV in the middle, so I can be watching Bonanza or whatever the hell is on. <laughs> Dragnet and, or some shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then I've got the other monitor over there that's the, the extension of my laptop screen. So that's like, you know, running if I'm filming something or if I'm, you know, doing some kind of digital artwork or something. It's got that on there. So I'm just like, oh my god. My... And then I'm, you know, watching tutorials and shit on my phone. My head's gonna explode from all these fucking screens. I love it. I need more. I need. I need every every inch of my viewing site to just have some kind of screen all day long. I okay. want to just. 
You know. All right, all right, all right. Is she gonna? Is she is she gonna work? All right, boys. This may be the last. The last uh, last time you see me. Am I grounded? All right. Nope. Nope. Okay. We have a cure for this. We have a cure. Okay. All right. Get the mats out. I don't know what's gonna happen. First time <coughs> trying. You want me to flick some pennies at it? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, go for it. Cause we have. All right. Testing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh. Hey, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I, I love it. It's just stronger. Yeah, it is. It's it, it, it's a lot stronger. Like it's just well, it just wants to go off without even having to to push anything to it, right? Or is there just a bunch of crap on <laughs> it? Just a bunch of shit on it. <laughs> oh, hello. That, that that didn't shock me at all. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Whoo. -hoo. Uh I love this shit. I mean, it's not like those things are ever like it's. It's not like it hurts you that bad when it's just no. standard. But when you do get hit by one, it does shock you enough to be like, "Hey, what the fuck? Don't hit me with that again." Well, well, Edison did did this a long time ago with uh with the AC/DC system. Uh, he said that hey, you know, uh, AC can kill you, but and and he should switch to DC. Well. Tesla was was rolling with the AC system, saying that that, that should work out fine. He was, I mean, he, he got to the point of hit, where he fucking electrocuted an elephant. You know, link in YouTube, link in description below. Right. Kind of bullshit. Um, but or or search on the internet, you sick fucks. Uh, kind of things like that. But on the same edge, you can also be killed by DC too. I mean. I always forget it. Is, is it the amps that kill you, or is it the volts that kill you? Or is it the sudden fall at the end? Or is it the sudden stop at the end? I, 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 I think it's when your heart stops. I don't think it... You know, you get... You could scare somebody enough thinking that they're being electrocuted that they just have a heart attack. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean... Do a lot of things. Okay, test number two. Fourth of July, man. 